15 times Princess Anne proved she's the most hardworking royal. If there's one member of the British royal family who truly embodies the meaning of hard work and dedication, it's Princess Anne. While her more high-profile relatives often make headlines, Princess Anne has quietly carved out a legacy as the consummate royal workhorse. From her pioneering athletic achievements to her relentless schedule of engagements and patronages, Princess Anne's commitment to service is unparalleled. In this video, we'll explore 15 fascinating examples that showcase her tireless efforts over the decades. From her globetrotting travels to her no-nonsense approach to duty, these examples paint a picture of a princess who's made an indelible mark through her actions. Number 1. Unmatched Patronage With a vast number of patronages spanning diverse sectors, Princess Anne's commitment to supporting a wide array of causes is truly unmatched within the royal family. From animal welfare to healthcare, education to sports, her patronages reflect an impressive diverse range of personal interests and values. What's even more remarkable is Princess Anne's hands-on approach to these roles. She isn't merely a figurehead lending her name and title. Instead, Princess Anne immerses herself in the work of these organizations, attending events, meeting beneficiaries, and actively advocating for their missions. Her depth of knowledge about the causes she supports is a testament to her genuine passion and dedication. Perhaps one of the most admirable aspects of Princess Anne's patronage work is her longevity. Many of these associations have enjoyed her steadfast support for decades, providing a sense of stability and continuity that's invaluable for their operations. Number 2. Relentless Schedule Even into her 70s, Princess Anne maintains a rigorous calendar. She regularly carries out hundreds of official engagements every year. It's estimated she's conducted over 20,000 engagements throughout her life. Age is merely a number for Princess Anne, whose work ethic seems to defy the limitations of time itself. Even as she approaches her eighth decade, her schedule remains as packed as ever, with a dizzying array of official engagements that would leave most people exhausted. From ribbon-cutting ceremonies to charity galas, agriculture shows to military events, Princess Anne's presence is consistently sought after and valued across the United Kingdom and beyond. Her tireless efforts see her crisscrossing the country, sometimes juggling multiple engagements in a single day with a level of energy and dedication that's truly awe-inspiring. Number 3. The Olympic Connection Princess Anne made history as the first British royal to compete in the Olympic Games. She participated in the 1976 Montreal Olympics in the equestrian event. In a remarkable feat that defied traditional expectations of royal life, Princess Anne shattered barriers and etched her name into the annals of sports history by becoming the first British royal to compete in the Olympic Games. Her participation in the 1976 Montreal Olympics was a groundbreaking moment that captured the world's attention and challenged long-held perceptions of what a member of the monarchy could achieve. As an accomplished equestrian, Princess Anne's love for horses and riding had been a lifelong passion, one that she'd honed and nurtured from a young age. But to take that passion to the highest level of competition, representing her country on the world's most prestigious sporting stage, was an unprecedented move that required unwavering determination and skill. Number 4. Equestrian Passion Princess Anne's pioneering role as the first member of the British royal family to compete in the Olympic Games highlights her trailblazing spirit and passion for equestrianism. Her participation in the 1976 Montreal Olympics was a groundbreaking moment that challenged traditional expectations and captured the world's attention. But Princess Anne's impact on the equestrian world extends far beyond her personal achievements. As a renowned horsewoman and former president of the Fédération Equestre Internationale FEI, she played a pivotal role in shaping the future of the sport and ensuring its continued growth and popularity on a global scale. Her dedication to honing her equestrian skills and competing at the highest levels of the sport has earned her a reputation as one of the most accomplished and respected figures in the equestrian world. Princess Anne's enduring passion for horses and equestrianism has left a lasting legacy, one that's been inherited by her daughter Zara Tyndall, who secured a silver medal at the 2012 London Olympics, underscoring the family's ongoing equestrian achievements and commitment to the sport. Number 5. Military Service 
Princess Anne's honorary military appointments underscore her deep connections and commitment to the British Armed Forces. As Colonel-in-Chief, Colonel and Air Commodore-in-Chief of various regiments and corps in both the British Army and the Royal Navy, her roles extend beyond ceremonial responsibilities. Princess Anne takes an active role in supporting military personnel and their families, frequently attending events, inspecting troops, and engaging with service members on a personal level. Her presence at these occasions is not merely a formality, it's a tangible demonstration of her deep respect and appreciation for the sacrifices made by those who have sworn to protect and defend the nation. Princess Anne's involvement also includes visiting troops on deployments, interacting with veterans, and participating in remembrance activities. These endeavors highlight her unwavering support for the brave men and women who serve their country, signifying her lifelong commitment to the British Armed Forces. Number 6. Save the Children For more than half a century, Princess Anne has been a resolute force in the fight to protect and uplift the lives of children around the world. Her dedication to the work of Save the Children, one of the world's leading independent organizations for children's rights, has been nothing short of extraordinary. As the former president of the charity, Princess Anne has played a pivotal role in raising awareness and amplifying the voices of those who often go unheard. She's traveled to some of the most remote and impoverished regions, witnessing firsthand the challenges faced by children living in poverty, conflict zones, and areas affected by natural disasters. During these visits, Princess Anne has not merely been a passive observer, she's rolled up her sleeves, engaging directly with the communities and immersing herself in the work being done on the ground. Her genuine compassion and empathy have resonated deeply with those she's met, inspiring hope and resilience in the face of seemingly insurmountable adversity. Number 7. Travel Extensively As a global ambassador for the British monarchy, the Princess Royal's passport has seen more stamps than most frequent flyers could ever dream of accumulating. Her unwavering commitment to her royal duties has taken her on a whirlwind journey across continents, where she's represented the crown with unwavering grace and diplomacy. From state visits to Commonwealth nations to attending high-profile international events, the Princess Royal's presence on the world stage is a constant reminder of the enduring influence and prestige of the British monarchy. Her ability to seamlessly navigate diverse cultural landscapes, forge meaningful connections, and serve as a bridge between nations is a testament to her exceptional diplomatic skills and genuine interest in fostering global understanding. But Princess Anne's travels are not merely symbolic gestures or fleeting moments of pomp and circumstance. They're opportunities to deepen relationships, facilitate cultural exchange, and promote the shared values and interests that bind nations together in an increasingly interconnected world. Number 8. Focus on Duty In a world where royal life is often associated with glamour, pageantry, and an insatiable appetite for the spotlight, Princess Anne stands out as a refreshing contrast. Her approach to her duties is one of steady pragmatism, a commitment to hard work and substance over style and spectacle. From a young age, her Royal Highness has embodied a no-nonsense attitude towards her responsibilities, eschewing the trappings of fame and embracing a life of service and dedication. Unlike some of her more high-profile relatives, such as the late Princess Diana or even her brother King Charles, Princess Anne has never sought the limelight or courted public adoration. Instead, she's focused her energies on the tasks at hand, approaching each engagement and obligation with a quiet determination and a keen eye for detail. Her work ethic is driven not by a desire for accolades or attention, but by a genuine belief in the importance of her role and the value of her contributions to the crown and the people she serves. This pragmatic approach has endeared Princess Anne to many, particularly those who appreciate her no-frills, down-to-earth demeanor. Number 9. International Recognition In a testament to the global impact of her tireless humanitarian efforts, Princess Anne's dedication to improving the lives of children around the world through her work with Save the Children garnered remarkable recognition in 1990. While the specifics of Nobel Prize nominations are traditionally kept confidential for 50 years, it's been reported that Princess Anne was nominated for the prestigious Nobel Peace Prize that year by qualified nominators from the British government and parliament. The reported nomination acknowledged Princess Anne's decades-long commitment to the work of Save the Children, 
one of the world's leading independent organizations dedicated to advancing children's rights and providing aid to underprivileged youth. Through her role as president of the charity, Princess Anne had traveled extensively to some of the most impoverished and conflict-ridden regions of the world, bearing witness to the harsh realities faced by countless children living in poverty, displaced by war, or suffering from the aftermath of natural disasters. Her presence on the ground, coupled with her unwavering advocacy efforts on the global stage, helped shine a spotlight on those often overlooked crises and rallied support for vital humanitarian aid initiatives. Number 10. Family Ties Despite her demanding schedule, Princess Anne remains a devoted mother to her children, Peter Phillips and Zara Tyndall, and is also a grandmother. Behind the relentless schedule, the global travels, and the unwavering commitment to her royal duties, Princess Anne is, at her core, a devoted family woman. Her role as a mother and grandmother is one that she cherishes deeply, a grounding force in a life that often demands her presence on the world stage. As the proud parent of Peter Phillips and Zara Tyndall, Princess Anne has always made a conscious effort to strike a balance between her public responsibilities and her private life as a mother. While her unwavering dedication to her work is well documented, those closest to her know that she's never sacrificed the precious moments that matter most, the milestones, the celebrations, and the everyday joys that are the fabric of family life. Despite the demands of her rigorous schedule, Princess Anne has been a constant presence in the lives of her children, offering guidance, support, and a steadfast love that served as a foundation for their own personal and professional endeavors. Number 11. Championing Education and Opportunity Princess Anne's patronages highlight her interest in supporting education, science, and opportunities for people with disabilities. Throughout her decades of service, Princess Anne has been a steadfast champion of education, scientific advancement, and creating opportunities for those facing disabilities or challenges. Her extensive list of patronages reflects a deep-seated belief in the transformative power of knowledge, innovation, and inclusivity. In the areas of education, Princess Anne has lent her support to a diverse array of institutions, ranging from prestigious universities to grassroots initiatives aimed at improving access to learning for underprivileged communities. Her involvement has extended beyond mere ceremonial roles as she's actively engaged with students, faculty, and administrators, sharing her insights and advocating for policies that promote excellence and equity in education. The Princess Royal's commitment to scientific progress has been equally steady. She's been a vocal supporter of research and development efforts across various fields, from medical breakthroughs to technological innovations. Her patronage of organizations like the Royal Society of Chemistry and the Institution of Engineering and Technology underscores her appreciation for the vital role that science plays in advancing human knowledge and improving lives. Number 12. Environmental Awareness Princess Anne has shown interest in conservation issues and sustainable farming practices. As a dedicated patron of numerous environmental and agricultural organizations, Princess Anne has been a vocal advocate for sustainable practices, conservation efforts, and a greater appreciation for the delicate balance between human activity and the natural world. Princess Anne's interest in these matters is deeply rooted in her lifelong love of the great outdoors and her respect for the intricate ecosystems that sustain life on our planet. From a young age, she's been exposed to the beauty and fragility of nature, fostering a profound understanding of the importance of responsible stewardship and preservation. Through her involvement with organizations like the Royal Geographical Society, the Woodland Trust, and the Rare Breed Survival Trust, Princess Anne has lent her voice and influence to raising awareness about critical environmental issues, such as deforestation, biodiversity loss, and the impact of the climate change on vulnerable species and habitats. Number 13. Scottish Ties As a cherished member of the royal family with deep roots in Scotland, Princess Anne has cultivated a special bond with the land, people, and traditions of this historic nation. Her enduring connection to Scotland is reflected in the numerous patronages she holds for organizations operating within its borders. From cultural institutions to educational establishments, from charitable foundations to environmental groups, the Princess Royal's patronages in Scotland span a diverse array of sectors. 
each one reflecting her commitment to preserving and promoting the rich heritage and values that make this country so unique. Her involvement with organizations like the Royal Scottish Corporation, the Royal Caledonian Ball, and the Royal Scottish Pipe Band Association underscores her appreciation for Scotland's cultural legacy and her desire to ensure that these traditions are celebrated and passed down to future generations. Furthermore, the Princess Royal's patronage of educational institutions such as the University of Edinburgh and the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland highlights her dedication to fostering intellectual growth, artistic expression, and academic excellence within the Scottish community. Number 14. Years of Consistent Service The Princess Royal's work ethic isn't something new. She's been a consistent figure of dedication within the royal family for decades. In a world where fleeting trends and passing fancies often capture the public's attention, the Princess Royal's unwavering dedication to her duties stands as a shining example of consistency and steadfast service. For decades, Princess Anne has been a constant presence within the royal family, a beacon of hard work and commitment. From her earliest years, Princess Anne embraced the responsibilities that came with her royal birthright. Even as a young woman, she approached her duties with a level of seriousness and professionalism that belied her age, setting a precedent for the tireless work ethic that would define her in the years to come. As she grew older and her role within the monarchy evolved, the Princess Royal's dedication only intensified. She took on an ever-increasing number of patronages, official engagements, and international obligations, all while maintaining the same level of focus and attention to detail that had characterized her earlier efforts. Number 15. A Royal Role Model In the ever-evolving landscape of modern royalty, where public perception and scrutiny can shape reputations, Princess Anne stands as a shining example of service, humility, and a down-to-earth approach that's endeared her to the British public and earned her respect around the world. Princess Anne's dedication to her duties and her tireless work ethic have been a constant throughout her life, setting her apart as a role model within the royal family and beyond. From her early years as a young royal to her current status as a beloved senior member of the monarchy, Princess Anne has consistently embodied the values of hard work, commitment, and a steadfast devotion to serving the crown and the people of the United Kingdom. But what truly sets Princess Anne apart is her ability to balance her royal responsibilities with a refreshingly grounded and approachable demeanor. Unlike some of her more high-profile counterparts, she's never sought the limelight or reveled in the pomp and circumstance that often accompanies royal life. Instead, she's remained steadfastly focused on the work at hand, approaching her engagements and patronages with a no-nonsense attitude and a genuine desire to make a tangible difference. Well, there you have it, folks. 15 times Princess Anne proved she's the most hardworking royal. From her relentless work ethic to her no-nonsense attitude, she's truly earned the title of the hardest-working royal. Now it's your turn. Do you agree that Princess Anne is the most hardworking member of the royal family? Or do you think there's another royal who deserves that title? Leave your opinions and perspectives in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting royal content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time with another exciting video.